Hello and welcome back everyone, I'm Diglo Buffalo and this is Let's Play Deus Ex Human Revolution The Director's Cut. When we last left off, we had defeated um, the last boss of the trio that had attacked Seraph Industries at the very beginning. We had found Megan Reed and we had rescued the scientists from Seraph Industries that were being held here at Omega Ranch. But also Hugh Darrow set off a signal to the new upgraded biochips that basically has the people going crazy and attacking. They, they're having terrible hallucinations and attacking anyone they find. So, well, it is now up to us to head to Panchea and, well, to save the world, I guess. So, let's do just that. Automated systems online. Darrow sequence 1, code 1, 1A. Preset and ready to engage. Suborbital trajectory plotted. Destination, Panchea. Begin countdown, Mr. Darrow. Yes, please. Begin countdown. Code, zero, zero, zero. Confirm, zero. Countdown commencing. Okay, so here we are in Panchea. Which, well, looks to be a tiny bit on fire. So, well, so much for this great installation here that is supposed to stop global warming. It is on fire now. And we have a British helicopter. Jensen. Jensen, can you read me? Barely. I've reached Panchea, Pritchard. Any word from Sarah for the UN delegates? Nothing. The installation went into lockdown shortly after Darrow gave his speech. I can't tell if anyone's even alive. And the signal's still broadcasting. Meaning no one's safe till I get in there and shut it down. You'll have to disengage the lockdown first. Look for a master control panel at the top of the tower. Okay, so I take it that's the tower. There's a boat on fire out there. Oh, there is our... Shuttle. Which, I don't know if I mentioned this beforehand, but, um, you know, that impact, that shuttle coming into the water at that speed is, well, generally not very survivable. But somehow, I guess, Adam made it out alive somehow. So, well, one thing we can take a look at is... Got 12 available Praxis points. And not all that much that we can invested in anymore shall we invest in armor let's invest in armor why not this protects us from emps let's get a flash suppressant as well even though we very well may not need it and we got six more well let's save those for now for what I don't know. Oh. Got stuck on something there. There's a box. You know, I don't want to get on top. I want to get inside and see if there's anything useful. Not that we have much room in our inventory.
Oh. Beer. Lots of beer. Yes. Well, we need four beers because we lost some health in the boss fight. So let's drop this for a moment. Drink two beers. Grab two more beers and drink two more beers. Get really, really, really drunk. And let's pick up our ammo again. Here's some money that we want. And, well, we can take the painkillers as well. Okay, we're back up to 200 health. That is a good thing. Well, it's good that Darrow had plenty of beer shipped to this facility. You wouldn't want people to go thirsty. Now, oh, I was thinking, how do we get in? Then I saw a big hole. Let's get our sneak on. Can't see anyone. That's a dead end. And here we got electrified water. Now the question is, does our EMP protection protect us from that electrified water as well? Well, one thing we could do is take these boxes and uh, make our way over there or go along. We can put them in, right? No, they explode on contact with the electricity. So, well, let's see if we can walk through it. Be interesting to know. Yes. Yes, we are immune. Our augments keep working and we didn't lose any health. Question is, where do we want to go? Oh, this all leads around. Let's go around here. Go this way first. These boxes apparently don't explode in electricity. Well, that was certainly a useful upgrade. Now, here we got some corpses and a smashed door with another corpse. Shotgun cartridges, heavy rifle, ooh, money. More money, but not a lot. Grenade launcher. Money. And more money. But... Otherwise, nothing much of interest. Okay. Whoa! That was a well-hidden explosive. But luckily we had that box that took the blow for us. So, do we want to go through there? Uh-huh, there's another one. This time we're onto it, though. Okay.
And down here is a locked room. Level four. Okay, that seems fairly straightforward. Access grant. 200 XP. Pocket secretary. Ooh, nice credit chip and a stop arm. And here we can turn off the electricity. There's a peps that we don't need. I can't... Well, that was weird. We can't jump up there, but I have a feeling that... Um, this vent we saw over here will take us there. But first, we got a pocket secretary. Friend, I think I figured out how to keep those fucking freaks away. I soaked the floor outside of the control room and then electrified it with a down power cable. It seems to be working. If you want to live, get your ass over here. I'm on my way. It may take a while. These freaks are everywhere. And yep, yeah, here we are exactly where we thought we would be. So congratulations to us. Anyway, let's check out this ladder. Hmm. It's like a loading bay or something. I was expecting to find something on top. But apparently not. Oh well, considering that our inventory is pretty much full. Still, nobody on the horizon anywhere. Oh, this is the landing area where we first showed up. Sniper rifle ammo. Don't do not want, or do not need more than anything. Some garbage bags. Pocket secretary. Fuck, man, they're everywhere. No way Johnson makes it uh, makes it to the tower. Why the hell is he trying to disengage lockdown anyway? We have to keep him shut in down there. Change in plan. Meet me in the hangar. We'll use one of the choppers and send back help when we're safe. Be careful. Okay, so all the people affected. Wow, there's a truck on fire. All the people affected by the biochip are in lockdown. That's why we're not running into anybody. Pritchard, Francia's broadcast center is at the base of the station near the bottom of the ocean. Is that right? But the lockdown caused all the blast doors to seal. You won't be able to go down until you override them manually. From up in the tower. I got it. Ergo, disengage lockdown. I see a person over here. All right. 
There's a room. Oh, cafeteria. Oh, well, at least we have a nice view from here. It's a big hole in Antarctica. Another pocket secretary. Oh, wow. Guess they jumped down from there. This message has not been sent. Doug, I am witnessing the most disturbing things I have ever seen. So I'm thing. Terrible is happening here. Panchea has erupted into complete mayhem. Augmented workers are running amok, writhing in pain and senselessly attacking everything in their path. I do not know what is going on, but it appears their augmentations are turning against them. I can see several afflicted people nearby. Soldiers, I think, from the... And that was all she wrote, literally. There's that guy, finally. He's been on the radar forever. Ooh, soup. And a fridge. Finally, us moving every fridge in the game led to something useful. We found another vent. Which looks like it's leading into the room with this guy. Let's take him out. Mercifully. Like, without beating the hell out of him. I can't promise we can do it for everybody that we come across. I mean, after all, he's only a worker. He's not like a soldier or something. Another pocket secretary. Temporary living quarters, Mr. Lapicus. For the duration of the summit, the door code to Miss Trudeau's temporary dressing room will be 8024. Please try to explain to both the Prime Minister and his wife that Panchea is still under construction, so she shouldn't be expecting something akin to that Chateau Laurier luxury suite she's grown so accustomed to in Ottawa, especially given how little time we've had to prepare for the summit. Thank you. And... I think that's the person whose office this is. Do I see... Yeah, no, that's a cyber boost bar. I thought it was money. Anyway. Okay, Mercury Instant Messaging Autosave. Hyron Alphapod. Panchea Oceanic Installation 5 Online. Hyron Alphapod. Emergency Situation Detected. 
We, us, have detected major power fluctuations, pressure instabilities, outages, malfunctions across wide areas of the oceanic station. Repeat alert. Warnings remain unattended. Situation approaching critical. Advise, advise, advise. Sec. Control command unresponsive. Analysis suggests immediate activation of emergency lockdown procedure 999 is necessary. Commencing full station lockdown in 5, 4, 3, 2. Emergency override protocols activated to disengage lockdown. Proceed to main tower and use manual override 747736. Have a nice day. Thank you. This is not a test. The Panchea Oceanic Installation 5 is experiencing a temporary emergency lockdown situation. This is not a test. No one may enter or exit the facility while the lockdown safety measures are in effect. All movement between sectors is likewise prohibited. Panchea's security response teams have been notified and mobilized. Please remain at your workstations while the lockdown is in effect. Security staff will alert you when it is safe to resume normal work activities. This is an automatically generated message from the Panchea Oceanic Installation 5 Hyvern Core. I see it, mommy. Okay. That is kind of weird. A very strange way to end an automat automatically generated message. Also could have said, oh my god, it's full of stars. Yeah, we couldn't get in from here, so we had to sneak in through the other side. Here's another vista of the big hole in the Antarctic. Uh-huh, there's a vent that can get us in there. And this is a bathroom. With stopworm software and a pool of blood. Okay, stairs leading upward. Money. Oh, hypo stim. Uh, we don't need it. Hmm, I was expecting a vent. That would give us access to the barracks. But apparently no. Oh, ebook. Iron Oceans, Phytoplankton Stimulus and Global Warming. The 2008 moratorium called into action by the United Nations Convention on Biological Diver Diversity severely curtailed the leaps and bounds being made by scientists working on the concept of iron seeding as a manner in which global warming could be combated. Alarmist claims of damage to the ecosystem, so-called nutrient shifting phenomena, and ill-researched statements stating that this method could actually increase greenhouse emissions have no basis in fact. However, it is fortunate that the Corporate Sovereignty Act of 2017 and other exceptions to the UN advisory have allowed the development cycle of this important technology to continue. The process works as follows. Iron dust is seeded across large expanses of ocean. Stimulate. Iron dust seeded across large expanses of ocean stimulate the growth of phyloplankton and their two month photosynthesis biocycle, a process that draws carbon from the atmosphere and deposits it on the seabed following the natural termination of the organism. I'm sure that whoever commissioned this is also the person supplying this iron seeding because that's what it that's how it was written
Okay, another level four hack. Now, try again. This went much better. Access granted. And we got a stop worm. Okay, more barracks. Wow, lots of hypo stems around. Vodka. Nuke virus. And here's the vent we probably were looking for. And there's something here. Stop worm. So let's check the computer. Emergency lockdown protocols. This is an automatically generated message from the blah blah blah. No, this is different. Nupantia Oceanic Installation 5 High Run Core. In accordance with command uh, blah blah blah, we us have activated emergency lockdown protocols. The following commands will be in effect until uh, cancel alert is activated. Activate emergency alert system, all levels. Secure class A protocol, all levels. Oh, center's rooms, all levels. Lock dedicated security terminals, all levels. Activate auto laser protection pro protocols, all levels. Activate auto robot patrol protocols, all levels. For full purge and breakdown, the promised land awaits. Okay. It stopped right on the most in interesting part. So login and password. Hey, Russ, can you tell me if the login password info I have for sex station is correct? I think it's this. Login Emily password last forever? Yes, I know, I know. I should just ask the network. But you know how those automated messages creep me out. Yes, they creep me out too with those, you know, little comments at the end. All right. Lots of weapons that we don't want. Cooling system that we don't need. Nothing else. Kind of disappointing. Doesn't look like there's anyone around. There's a turret over there. Hmm. So that's bad news. So let's see. Another nuke virus. Aha, uh -huh. security terminal. Plasma capsules. Ammunition. Uh, not useful. The gas grenades might be useful, but I don't know. I just don't trust them enough. I don't think they're lethal, but uh, 
Oh well, we haven't needed them until now. So another level four hack. Again, we cannot access the diagnostic subroutine. Get the reward and get out of here. Access granted. 400 XP. Okay. The camera's off. Let's disable the turret. Alright, we're good. Would be too tedious to check each and every one of these people. And this seems to be the meeting room and exactly where we want to be. But the entrance is blocked. So I think we'll have to jump through the window. But I think we'll do that in the next part. So for now, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like or a comment below. Subscribe to stay up to date and I will see you in the next part. So until then, have a good one.